for a, a regular person? It, it may be kind of like, you know, beating the, that person, but no, this is a good drilling game. I, I think uh, definitely someone who has a, a, a proven, demonstrable track record of, of success with, uh, with gang and drug problems and whatever, you know, prior experience mm -hmm. he or she has. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That has been uh, a theme here, I've heard. Mm -hmm. Anything else with this one? I know that kind of, like I said, those two questions blur in, but it's more drilled down. So this next question is just, you know, I think, is there anything else um, you would like us to consider in selecting the new police chief? And, and this really is so that we're not stuck and beholden to these questions that we've, um, if there are other issues or other things that you think that are important to the process of selecting the chief, then um, we'd like to definitely capture that uh, from the second. No, we suggest we get female. We already suggested it. I think it would be nice to open up more of the process to the public, not just linking it to these um, questions and answer sessions, mm -hmm. but also allowing the public to either participate in or be open to, like, be able to view more of the uh, administrative processes that go on behind this as well. Yeah, yeah. I know. I think it, anytime you hear these are kind of the last meetings that we're winding down, and um, people say, "Oh, here's another." We created another. Um, this process again is, uh, you know, um, you know, again these meetings and uh, you know are online and the notes and definitely will be um, as open to the public as we can. Yeah, and, and ability. Uh, an ability to, to remove any barriers that might arise uh, um, in terms of any gender-specific problems. Ability to eliminate any difficulties that could arise from gender-specific problems. Can you elaborate on that, Mac? Holy moly, yeah. do we have remove, to? Re remove <laughs> any problems that are gender specific. <laughs> An ability to remove any problems that could be gender specific. <laughs> Such as? Basically, I think what Max Such as prejudice of any sort. Yeah. Okay. Open minded. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, one of the, well, our last question is, what are you willing to do to contribute to help the new police chief? And this is an example of what you're willing to do. I mean, to come out, to volunteer, to be active in your communities. Uh, again, um, when, when we go around to these meetings and we you know, whether it's for this process or for any other process, I'm sure you know, we, we definitely have a mobilized community. Uh, people are really happy with San Jose in the sense of living here, the quality of life, and, um, you know, there are, can be improvements in any in any city and anything, but uh, generally there is a, is a happiness. So we, we need to, um, so our, the next police chief will definitely have to be connected to the, the community and to groups like yourselves. And so, um, but are there examples that we uh, we have heard is that uh, we will we will definitely be those that volunteer that uh, have the chief out to meetings or have the chief to give them tours or to give him or her um, you know views of you know what are important to our community. So are, are there other things that uh, that you think that you would be willing to do or consider helping the next police chief be successful? Be happy to meet with yeah. I think uh, get, having you come out and speak to the uh, particularly strong neighborhood uh, areas mm -hmm. in the city, that would be a great thing for him to do. Because then he's going to be addressing the, the areas that really have problems as far as the neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. And he could be connected up to uh, CNAC, Coalition of Neighborhood Action Co Coalitions. Oh which we belong to. And uh, Heather is, I'm sure, would liaise with you to 
make that happen. Yeah. Volunteer? Volunteer. Yeah. I think that regardless of what kind of chief we choose, uh, regardless of his or her qualities or background or track record, we should all like, help him or her transition into the city because after the chief is chosen, we're not going to be able to change it for a while. So, I mean, if we have, uh, even if we disagree with the decision, I think we should all help the police chief transition into the city. Yeah, I, I think to sort of flip it around the other way, um, I would love to be able to shadow the police chief or somebody in that authority position for a day to understand what are their problems and what are their limitations and what are their capabilities. Um, so often we think, oh, they should be able to do a lot better here, here, or here. But I don't know exactly what they do in a day, just as they don't know exactly what I do in a day. So if we could flip it around and understand that better, that would help, I think, the community understand how to be a good community with the police chief we have. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a great neighbor web article. OK. Or he could have his own YouTube or Vimeo channel, which he could address yeah. people. That's that's actually pretty new. It's from the yeah. Oh, really? They, okay. They, they I, have this a YouTube is the channel. Person it's on the Chiefs channel, but it's the San Jose Police Department. But, oh, but right. we could say more utilization of the channel. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, YouTube has become the largest search engine in the world. Mm -hmm. It's beyond Google. People are watching more videos than anything else. So that's the medium people are going to communicate to you. With. Well, you know, have to what, you know, what would we be doing if you wanted to do? Uh, I, would, I would think we would like to have hopefully other groups, but we would be willing to communicate to our constituents and our communities uh, the issues that the police chief and the department um, um, would communicate to us that are needful to occur in our communities. <laughs> you had your question. Um, you had yeah. your comment, sir. Uh, two things. First, um, I know that earlier um, the police department had had kind of like a sign of arm with people from Pembroke, which was Spanish community, could come and they learn about like the life of the naval police. So maybe like if there were more of those, like the community is willing to participate in that. That would probably be useful. And then, um, oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> yes. I, uh, I kind of flipped the question around as well, but in a different way than Justin did. I think, uh, I think there are a lot of things that people would be willing to do to help or contribute. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, we, we need a police chief who is able to engage the public to, to do more. Um, the, the best example that comes to my mind is uh, something as simple as reporting crime. I, I know a lot of people who are like, you know, you've been in a lot of community meetings, huh? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, captain to say that. If a car window gets smashed, you know, a lot of people, they don't even bother to report it because they figure, so, well, you know, what good is it going to do? So, you know, I, things like that, you know, people need some, some nudging and prodding, and sometimes, you know, they don't know exactly what they need to do. You know, we need someone to tell us, hey, you know, this is what you can do to help us. This is how you can do it. I, I think things need to be publicized better. Well, you know, this brings up another thing for me. It was a new question needs to be a good listener. I mean, in order for, you know, we're saying, well, yeah, well, we'd like to meet them, we'd like to do all these things. Like, but yeah, if we don't get a sense that, um, you know, that, that, that this person is, is is receptive to hearing anything from anybody or, you know, it's kind of gotten to, oh, yeah, I know, I know what to do, you know, then, you know, then people are going to be turned off. So that's. Uh, well, that's a good one because. Uh, the, the thing, the one common thing when Deb, when she shares at community meetings, is the eventual person when she when they when she selects them and they get them confirmed by council, the first thing that she will hand them will be this suit that has it's a red suit that has an S on it because this person is definitely going to have to be a super person. Um, and uh, 
and because they're going to have to embody a lot of things. But what I what I heard here, and that I don't know, we echo it is is that the person is also going to have to make sure that that all these things are embodied culture wise um, within the, throughout the department. Is that uh, the, the from the assistants to the deputies to the captains to the B cops, they're going to have to be good listeners. They're going to also going to, um, just kind of echo that, um, and we do have that existing, but that's a, very important that that's echoed throughout the culture. So, anything else? Um, um, so, I want you to know that this is not again the only way you can participate uh, by giving input. If you, there's something that you forgot and that you you want to like to add, we have an online survey. Uh, that we're encouraging people, individuals, to complete uh, online. We actually would encourage maybe if you were to send it out to folks that you that were not here or present, uh, um, because uh, we definitely would um, like to have that input um, um, uh, online and uh, continue. Um, I want to thank you again for inviting us here and having uh, us here. Uh, I appreciate it very much, and uh, thanks for joining me. <laughs> Thank you very much.